Guard your credit like you guys guard your cell phone. A crash course in real world economics. A financial expert is at Hilton and Island High School speaking to some students taking economics and government classes. The presenter is a mortgage loan officer. He taught at the school years ago and made the switch to finances in the early 2000s. I was a former teacher and then went into the banking world and I did notice as a mortgage banker dealing with young adults, people in their 20s, that a lot of them did not have that financial literacy that you would hope they would have. So I really think coming back and speaking, just if the students can remember one or two things that when they are in their late teens or early 20s, like, oh yeah, you know, I do need to take care of my credit or I, I should be putting this amount of money in the bank. Just really teaching young adults financial literacy to help them achieve their goals a little bit later in life. During the presentation, students are learning about interest rates, how to build credit and more. But let's say the rate seven and a half percent. Some of the things I would tell them is to know what credit score is and to guard your credit, take care of it. You know, like I said, protect it like you do your cell phone. Know about interest rates, including when you're borrowing money or spending money, and then also using interest as, a, as an investment and a way to make money. Then just overall financial literacy. Read statements, read bills, you know, be aware of where you spend money and, and just kind of take control of your own finances. The students are also discussing strategies to take ownership over their budgets. For me, what I focused most on was the fact that he said check your bank statements make sure that you know what you're paying for and you know what's coming out of your bank account because for me personally I've made a lot of mistakes with my bank and I've been charged things that I forget about monthly payments that I forget to just decline to so I think it's most important for me to just make sure I know what I'm paying for month to month so I can keep my savings how it is. He talked a lot about like interest rates and just compound interest over time, which I didn't know a lot about. So I mean, it was very interesting to hear about that and kind of hear about find best rates for you over a certain amount of time, like how that money is actually being saved for you. And yeah, I just found that as the uh, most interesting thing from that. One of the students in the class is the guest speaker's son. He was excited his dad could come and share his financial knowledge with the class. Well, it's definitely a benefit to have him as my dad because he obviously helps me out with a lot of like my finances and stuff like that. So it's like when it comes to opening like check-ins accounts, savings accounts, I always have him to help. And it's just a big advantage because some of the things that we were talking about, which is stuff I don't know how to do, is like opening savings accounts that are more advantageous towards me. I have him to help me, so that's just obviously very helpful. Mr. Quigley spoke to three classes. Each presentation was about an hour long. At Hilton and Island High School, Ron Lopes, Beaver County School District. Who here already has a checking or a savings account?